Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to recalibrate your tire pressure sensors on your Chevrolet Camaro. First thing, you're going to need this uh, tire pressure monitor tool for relearning your tire pressure sensors. You can pick it up on Amazon for about $16. I'll link it in the post below. When you're relearning your tire pressure sensors, the, the way you want to do it is you want to go to your left front tire first which is your driver's side front, relearn that one. Then you wanna to go to your right front, right rear, and then your left rear. Once you go through all of them, once they're all, they'll chirp the horn on each one. After you relearn it, it goes through its relearn process, it'll chirp the horn, and then you go to the next tire. So you start left front, right front, right rear, left rear. A lot of your vehicles are the same and a lot of them are different. On this vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and turn your your car on as soon as it comes up and gives you all the information you have a menu button right here on your your uh, column stick go up to vehicle information go to tires and hold set clear down it'll come up and ask if you want to change it go to yes and hit set clear again when you do you'll hear the horn chirp and the tire learning is active once you hear the tire chirp, you take this tool and you want to put the, the stem against the rim. Press the button, turn it on, put the stem against the rim until you hear the horn, until you hear the horn chirp. Then go to the next tire. That was the left front, this is the right front. Push the button, go to the next tire. This is the right rear, push the button. Go to the next tire. Once you're at the last tire, when you get this one recalibrated, you should hear the horn blow twice, letting you know that the calibration is done and complete. That lets you know the calibration is done. If during the program you, you push the button, the light comes on to let you know that it's trying to recalibrate, but it doesn't recalibrate, the horn doesn't chirp. What that means is you probably have a bad tire pressure monitor. These tire pressure monitors go inside the tire. They, they all come in different sizes and shapes. Inside here is like a little watch battery, and the watch battery sends out the, uh, the signal. Unfortunately, you can't just replace the battery in there. It's sealed. You have to buy a new tire pressure monitor. But after you replace that tire pressure monitor, uh, you can put it back, the tire back on the car, go back through the recalibration, and it'll recalibrate back to the vehicle and you'll be finished. And you're done. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Click that subscribe button. Help me help you. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up or click one of these other videos wherever they are. Thanks again for watching.